Hello, and welcome to this week's Let's Talk Machines Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. Within the Examine panel is a Create Point Cloud frame that provides tools for allowing you to capture a set of rendered cells and use data from those cells to create a point cloud source object. This point cloud source can then be used for automated grid refinement, which is particularly helpful in remediating issues of donor cell matching and overset grids. Here I have a simple box in which the volume grid has been created by advancing anisotropic elements from each face using the advancing layer technique in pointwise known as T-Rex. If I examine cell skewness within this block by first selecting it and choosing the max included angle metric from the examine menu, then it is apparent that the colliding T-Rex fronts have resulted in a number of highly skewed cells since I didn't take much care in initializing the volume grid in order to specifically illustrate creating point clouds for this example. I have also created a filter over on the Filters tab with a single condition matching all cells that have included angles greater than 170 degrees. Enabling this filter within the Filters frame allows me to visualize these cells in the display window. Expanding the Create Point Cloud frame demotes all of these rendered cells to points, which represent the source cloud points which will be created. There are two options within the spacing type frame. The constant option will create a point cloud source object with the same spacing and decay values at every point, while the general option will create a point cloud source with variable spacing at each point. With the constant option selected, I can update the values for both spacing and decay. With a general option selected, two spacing options are available. The average edge length option will compute an average length scale from the local cell and apply that to the current source point. The current function value option will take the actual diagnostic values for length-based measures. This option isn't available for functions that aren't based on a length scale. For this example, I'll simply choose the constant option, enter a spacing value of 0.5, which was used to initialize the surface grid, and a decay value of 0.9. Clicking Create saves the new point cloud source object, and it will be listed under the Sources leaf within the List panel. You can distinguish point cloud sources from other types of sources in Pointwise by the cloud base name given to them by default. This block can then be reinitialized by including this point source cloud to adapt the target edge lengths for cells in their vicinity to help improve the overall cell quality within the block. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.